News tonight. We begin with breaking news. Rapper Kodak Black has just bonded out of jail. And he got aggressive with Local 10 News reporter Rosh Lowe. Rosh is live at the Broward Jail in Fort Lauderdale to show us what happened. Rosh. I've been doing this a long time, and let me tell you, this is one of the strangest things I have ever seen. Not only did he get aggressive with my photographer, Brian Murphy, but he actually started throwing rocks at this photographer, simply doing his job, Kodak Black started throwing rocks. I want you to listen to this for a moment. Don't throw anything at our camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't throw anything at our camera. Don't throw anything at our camera. So what happened after that, uh, and we have more audio that we'll play for you later tonight, Kodak Black threatened to punch me repeatedly and, uh, you know, we didn't back down. We're simply doing our job, trying to get this guy coming out of the Broward Jail. And you'll see him here. Uh, he was actually, he's been behind bars since December. He was a violation of probation. He was actually free today. He comes out of the Broward Jail. I walk up those steps and there's Kodak Black. And uh, the first thing, I was alone without a photographer. He threatened to punch me. And then our photographer gets up there and you saw it there on, on the video. Now, I, I don't know if we have the capability to do this, but if we can listen to that sound one more time, I want you just to see what Kodak Black was doing. Can we, can we listen to that again? If we can't listen to it again, you heard it the first time. He, okay, he picks up a rock and he just chucks it at our photographer. You know, this is very interesting. This is somebody who's been in trouble. Okay, we're going to do it. Let's listen to that again. Don't throw anything at our camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't yeah. throw anything at our camera. Yeah. Don't throw uh, anything at gosh, our camera. So the cops were not called because we came downstairs here for the live shot, but we, I've never seen anything like this. Somebody coming out, threatening to punch a reporter, actually throwing a rock, several rocks at a, report, at a photographer, hitting him in his ribs. And all of this began earlier today and we covered Kodak Black, who was in federal court. He was in federal court. He's from Pompano Beach. He was a, before a judge. He accepted a deal pleading guilty to violation of, of his probation. He was sent up here to Broward where he's out. But apparently, you know, he's been in jail since December. He says he has a child being born. Apparently he's up to his old ways, being aggressive, throwing things at people and much more of this incredible video later on tonight. For now, I'm live in Fort Lauderdale. I'm Rosh Lowe, Local 10 News. Glad to see you. So, Kodak Black throws a rock at the news team when he's leaving Broward County Jail. I'm going to say allegedly, even though we seen him through the rock, we didn't see him hit nobody with it. We didn't see anything because had Kodak Black actually hit the news team with a rock, he would be back arrested again. In fact, the same news team tried to get Kodak Black arrested. They were disappointed that the Broward County jail officials didn't do anything. They didn't even intervene because even the jail officials know these news teams are piece of crap, bro. The dude on the news is so openly racist towards black people, bro. I don't care what nobody tell me. This man is trying to make it look like a war crime was committed. He's like, and I've never seen that in my life. And I'm, what, did, did Kodak Black just start World War Eight, bitch? Like, like, what the hell is this white dude talking about? He's on the news being dramatic, and he's looking around like, oh, oh, oh. How about this, news guy? Get the fuck out of people's faces when they minding their own business. That man been locked up for how long? or how many times or whatever, leave him the fuck alone. He didn't call you to come bother him. You went to go be nosy. You looked at his date of being released and you invited yourself where you were never invited. In fact, I'm mad Kodak Black didn't connect with The Rock to put your so-called assistant out of commission. I pray to the guys he would have connected with y'all. I'm not gonna, especially you upside the head. And to make it bad, you start talking about Kodak's black lengthy career. I got news for a lot of you white folks out here. Whether these people are criminal records or not, you people are not better than them. You think because you ain't never been arrested, you some type of angel out here. That camera you got is more far worse 
than what these black kids who have criminal records are doing out here. Because I'm not trying to make them look like angels, but you are a devil, sir. You use that camera to demonize people when you had ill intentions to get views and gain some type of notoriety for being the piece of shit dude that recorded Kodak Black getting out of prison. I mean, jail. Mind your fucking business and go cover the news in these white neighborhoods. You got white males who can't control their anger and rage and they're eliminating their own family, kids, mother, and even the damn dog and fish. Stick to that. You white folks are so entrailed into this hip hop culture, into the street life, and you paint this narrative only with our demographic of neighborhoods. So I have to get some turd white dude on the bus, turd white dude on the, uh, 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 I guess, another YouTube platform. You blacks are always killing each other. You know, these dudes, these white people will skip past their own atrocities, their own crimes, and focus on some dirty little nigga on Fifth Street who's doing what a little nigga does. But uh, meanwhile, what they're doing globally globally it gets pushed under the rug that same news media is the same group of people who have yet to be fair when talking about israel and palestine i'm not for neither one of them i'm not against them but i mind my business they're not my people i treat them the way they treat my people which is kick rocks that's not my business you're not gonna force me to feel bad for a group of people who could care less if i was on fire but the news doesn't get into that they don't talk about the atrocities that american money is being spent to other countries to bomb palestine kill women and children you don't bring that up but here is you 2 p.m in the afternoon worrying about a damn rapper coming home from jail for some drug charges how the fuck is that breaking news there is no more journalism in America. It stopped since the American Revolution when allegedly, this is alleged, I'm not spreading misinformation, allegedly they claim a group of people went on this ship and they went against the king and the Boston Tea Party, blah, 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 blah. blah. I, I, I dare you people to go research the actual events that led to the American Revolution. But I'm not going to get into that because you people look at the media as your gods. You people talking points only come from the media. Every time I talk to one of you fools, there is no real human essence to you or virtue to you. It's just talking heads. You got idiots like this white dude here talking about Kodak Black like he was a serial killer who came to kill him and his partner who was minding their own business. No, you're a little turd. You bother people. Why would I speak to you when you're going to take the words I say, clip it up to make me look like some type of monster? You are the devil in the full flesh, sir. You can get on the camera and do your pulpit. And white people know you're lying. But white people don't like us so much that it feels good. It's a refreshing breath of air to hear their white media sources. Oh, my gosh. He picked up the rock. I've never seen that in my life. We've seen countless white celebrities beat the hell out of you, so-called journalists, news media. We've seen a lot of it. Knock it off oh my god he picked up a rock we seen you clowns get hit by cars get get popped with all that by your own group of people when you're harassing them sir in america people got the right to be left the fuck alone we don't give a damn you're the news team that don't reserve you the right to put a camera in somebody's fucking face you should be glad that your face wasn't broken into if anything get on that camera get on the microphone get on your goddamn knees devil and say thank the lord the sniper gang general didn't take me out my glow that's it, sir. Oh, my gosh. And, and, and a man with a lefty record like Kodak Black. Did you see the child? That's exactly why he threw a rock at your bitch ass and your assistant. I'm mad that he didn't connect. I'm not going to lie. Leave people the fuck alone. Stop going to the media and, and try to portray another dirty thing you media journalists do. It could be an innocent black gentleman who got killed today. He's not in a gang or nothing, but he probably got arrested for a speeding ticket before over the years. You'll take that mug shot and you'll show the worst picture of our group of people, right? Make us look like some type of monster out here that's just going to eliminate everything. But then you'll take a mass murder white devil. You'll take your family members because when you see these serial killers, they remind you of your own kids. So you have this heart for them. So what you do for those people, you take all these nice pictures with their fathers and mother of, as a young kid smiling. And you try to make them look like angels and portray them as some type of goody two shoe. As if we don't have fathers in our life. News flash again, devil white media. My mom and dad was always in my life. 
I know you're going to say that's isolated. Almost the whole fucking neighborhood of Broward County or the ones in Miami, the pork, there beans, all that. You can lie with your statistics because we know stats and numbers could be due to paint any narrative you want to. But fathers are in the homes. Even if they're being arrested, I've always seen fathers in the homes. Even today, I always look back and I hear people say, ain't no fathers in the home no more. Even dumbass blacks been listening to you guys preaching this nonsense, they start regurgitating what the white people tell them. And even black people come to me, yeah, man, the, the, there are fatherless homes for real. You mean your home is fatherless. Majority of us, that's not the case. That's not the case at all. Majority of these dudes getting killed and going to prison in and out, they have fathers in the home. You know, they're rebellious teenagers based on what society is making normal. You know, we're not going to say who runs the music industry because But we're not going to get into that. You feel me? All you preach since these kids are one year. And I'm not making excuses for them because you should have the ability to be strong enough to handle yourself without having the news or the music. You feel me? Let you become this type of killer. But unfortunately, there are people here who actually fall victims to thinking they some type of gangster and killing or whatever. And you, cameraman, you with your dirty cameras who use propaganda and scare tactics to demonize people. You deserve everything that come your way. Next time, I hope Kodak Black uses a vehicle next time. Allegedly. Allegedly. DJ Bless One. I smoke cheap Mike with the magic. He my dog. He died in traffic with that brand new Glock 380. Went to see the voodoo lady. I'm on high shit right now. That woo done turn me crazy Way the brand new black Mercedes It's just stay la vie, my baby I see so many Z's It look like double Z's OMG Red and blue flag Hanging on my back Extra swag 90210 You know I'm from the road That rock and roll I'm motherfucking lot of deal With the sack Drink the sell Yeah, I'm on that Adderall Catch a 